So about once every month or so, I go into service mode just to see if there are any alerts that the car is throwing um, that aren't bad enough to be customer facing, but something that might just still be there. So if you wanna go into service mode, you just go into your model here, and then you press and hold it for a second, or a few seconds, that'll pop up and you just type in service. I'm gonna give you a warning, enable, boom, service mode. So I don't have any alerts or anything like that. Shows your VIN and my alert. Of course, it doesn't show up now, but it would show up under here if I tapped service alerts. It was under service fix, not customer. And it said something about low coolant. So I wanted to figure out how bad the coolant was or how low it was and if it was something that I could just fix myself. Turns out it's pretty freaking simple. So I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. First things first, you're gonna open up your frunk. Okay. If you're still in service mode, your HVAC should be off, but if not, you can just go ahead and tap the temperature number, press and hold it for a minute, and that will turn off your HVAC. So pretty simple to start. We're gonna remove this apron here. So you can just grab it. It's just held in by a bunch of clips and just lift it straight up. What we're going for is under this plastic air inlet. So you can also, that's held in by four clips. You can see those white dots. Just grab it, lift up. All right, that's what we're going for. This right here where it says 35 kPa. So one way you could do it is you could theoretically just open it up and start pouring some coolant in there until the alert goes away. I don't recommend that, but if you're in a rush, that's something you can do. The proper way would be to remove this front tub here, the front tub and that's held in by a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts, so. All right, I got a light in here. Sorry if it adds some weird artifacts, but it was pretty hard to see before. So there's six bolts, if I remember correctly. Um, look at it really fast. So you've got one in here, one in here, um, and then you've got two that sit under the carpet, and there's two behind this. And this is actually really easy to remove. You just put your finger in there and you're gonna pull straight out, just like that. Um, you're gonna unhook the camera, the camera, sorry, you're gonna unhook the light, but you've got the two bolts right up there. So I'm gonna undo those really fast and then show you how to pull out the tub. Ah, I take that back. There is one more 10 millimeter. Super easy. These all are the same length. That one's kinda hard to get to. But they're all the same length, so you don't have to worry about them being any different at all. The light here, it just pulls out. There's not any tabs or anything. So I'm going to need both hands to do that really fast. Now one thing you're going to want to keep in mind is this cord, but only for when you put the tub back in. And I'll show you why in a minute. So to remove the apron, there are some pressure clips along the sides. Um, and so you can just start on one side and lift and they just kind of pop out. So there's one side and I'll do the other. You're gonna need two hands to pull this all the way out. Yeah, two hands necessary. Please don't mind my super tiny garage. All right, so. This actually has one of my favorite little Tesla things. That's the super bottle. See that? With the Tesla T on it. Kind of fun. Anyways, that is your coolant reservoir. And you can't see it on this side. I don't know if I'll be able to get a good image of it. Right down there it says Max and Nom. Mine was, I don't know, just a little bit below Nom. I'm pretty sure Nom is for nominal. But yeah, I just grabbed the, a. Uh, I removed the cap, grabbed a funnel, and put some of this in. G48, see that at the top? Tesla, got this at AutoZone, it was like 20 bucks. Anyways, yeah, just make sure the HVAC's off. Take this off, fill it up until it gets to the NOM line. Sorry, I've got a weird light that I'm trying to work with here. And then, time to put everything back together. 
Okay, so once you get the tub back in, first thing is make sure that this cord is out. It likes to get stuck behind the plastic here or down at the bottom. And then if you're just not paying attention like I have done more than once, you put all the bolts back in and suddenly you can't connect the front light. So start with that. Now that that's plugged in, we'll go ahead and put the seven bolts back in. Remember there's two there, one, two there, up in each of these, and then one right there. Pretty quick. Now that I've got the bolts back in, this just comes up to the top here. And once you've got it centered right above, it just pops right back down into place. For these edges, some people like to put the bolts back in after they've got those in place. I like to have it in place and then it just snaps right in. Next up, this is real time so you can see how easy it is. These just lines up with the holes here. I'm just gonna do that. Oh, that one didn't pop in. Oh, yes it did. And then my, sorry, I'm not good at filming at the same time as working. The mat at the bottom. And lastly, the apron just goes into place. Just like that, you can close the front, go back into service mode if you haven't left it, check to see where it's at. That alert should be gone. Close it and you're done. All right, so just like what you would have seen um, if you had the same issue that I had, there's now no service alerts. And if you wanna leave service mode, you just see the exit service mode, tap and hold that, and boom, you're done. One thing I did wanna point out, if you go to service.tesla.com, it doesn't show anything about removing the tub. Personally, I remove the tub because I feel like it gives me better access to not only reaching the reservoir, but being able to see the max and nom lines. Um, and it takes me like two minutes to do. So that's my personal opinion. If you wanna go ahead and just skip over that, you are more than welcome to do that as well. Hope this helped.